What is going on guys? Welcome to episode number 10 of my league expansion in NBA 2K19 between the Tempo and the Jacks. We are looking at the player mentorship screen for your Las Vegas Jacks. Yeah, we have Della Vadova with Korkmaz. Capella is still working with Mo Bamba here. And now that we have Bogdanovich, I'm trying to get Zaire Smith back on track. So I think Bogdanovich hopefully can help him out a little bit. And you see the 10 year age gap there. Macklemore with Reddish for Posterizer. So that's what I got right now. And now we're going to look at the tempo. Yeah, and you know what's kind of an interesting little combination here is Patty Mills and Jaron Jackson. Two guys yeah. you would not think would be anywhere near related in skill set at all, but we're trying to get Jaron Jackson to become more of a shooter. This one too. It's kind of weird. Yeah, John ja Morant and Udo. I want John ja Morant to kind of, I know he's an offensively skilled player. I want him to get more defensive oriented too. So then we got RJ Barrett working with Kyle Korver, trying to get his pick and roll and catch and shoot numbers up and then we've got leftos i want to get leftos more inside gamey type of feel here because he got, his, he got the euro connection too yeah I'm sure they'll relate yeah he and plus he's more of that he's more of that mid-range type of guy i want him to get more down the down low in the post so we can see these scores here against the knicks we got a simulated game here jaron jackson led the way with 37 minutes 24 points and a Le losing effort leftos had 16 mills had 13 that's bad yeah, and R.J. Barrett went 0 for 4 from 3 and 1 of 9 in the field. Four points in 34 minutes on the floor, man. Not good at all. Now, you have here against the Lakers, you did beat the Lakers, then Leftos really stepped up in this one, and Barrett played a little bit better, too. Yep, and we see John Morant just chipped in with 11 minutes, 8 points, had a couple assists. He played fairly well for the amount of minutes he had. Yeah, and Jimmer Fredette, in a losing effort against the Thunder, led the team with points. He was 8 of 13 from the field. Compared to Whitehead, Whitehead played pretty good there as well. Capella with a double-double. So we have an interesting situation at point guard here. Against the Bulls, we got a pretty good win there. Two double-doubles, and then Fredette chipped in with 10 in 15. Whitehead, not that great. So now we're going to be looking here. We were playing the Raptors, and I'm starting Jimmer Fredette in this one, even though he might be a little overrated in our game. I'm going to look into that. I think NBA, I think 2K added him to their updated roster. So you're just going to so take on the player DNA I might, right there? I might do that. So yeah. I think it's a little bit more of a realistic. Yeah. I mean, after watching him play with Phoenix, you just got to get back in the flow of things, but we'll see. So Bamba averaging a double-double here in the early going. You see the Jacks, we're only scoring, a, we're scoring 107 per game, which I like that. And then Kyle Lowry is killing it for the Raptors right now. But this is a tough road game for us. Yeah, you're going to have to take on We the North. Yeah, and we are switching the lineup a little bit. Like I said, for Det at point guard, and then Reddish is going to start at small forward today. So we're getting some of the new guys, some a bit of a change in minutes there. So Macklemore and Whitehead are going to have to be. They're going to be subs today. They're going to ride the bench. Raptors obviously a pretty darn good team. So we'll see what you guys have in your bag of tricks here to open up that this game well i'm ball. playing on all-star i decided it was a good idea to start the game on all-star and see how i did bombo also by the way is kind of on a minutes restriction tonight so he's not gonna play you know we're, we're just pacing things out early so we're gonna give jonte porter some minutes as well makes a lot of sense yeah so we, shooting is is not happening right now no there's already two missed shots and then we've got DeRozan for a three ball and then in the corner it's lowry for another three ball See There's it. already six points up on the board. Hey, look at this. We might actually put some points, and we're only going to get one. Let's see, Bogdanovich. I cannot shoot with him. He's wide open. It's 12 to 1. Oh, Lowry. God. And then Lowry hits another three. 15 to 1. 17 to 1. Bamba checks in. Patterson, save us. Okay. Hey, he's a former Raptor. He knows his court well. Good stuff. Okay. Now, Bamba going to draw the foul. So 24 to 6. Okay, I got one. Oh, no, we missed it. So I think it was at this point I decided I was going to play a rookie for the rest of the, the first quarter. To <laughs> It's not looking good. I mean, look, they got 34 points right now. They're on pace to score like 140. So Jonte Porter is going to put that one in. Lowry. Another three. That. Goodness gracious. They are just, they're just killing it at the three-point line right yeah, now. Yeah, we can't play defense, but Zaire Smith's going to drain that one. It's 56 to 34 right now. Ibaka puts that one in. So like I said, I don't remember when I switched it to rookie. I'm just I'm just trying to make the opposing score respectable at this point. But uh, yeah, Capella dunks it. So it's 60 to 41. 
can't make anything with Bogdanovich. Again, per the usual, eight points. He's three of 10 for 30%. Man, I suck at this game. <laughs> Bogdanovich not doing anything. 60 to 41 now. And here's DeRozan. A little fake there on, looks like to be McLemore, and he's going to get the two. So now 73 to 54, man. This is just an absolutely brutal showing. And the step back three can't hit it from Lowry. And then Fredette going to try to push it up the floor, but he's going to stop at the three-point line and then make this three ball okay. to get it to a 57 to 73 okay. halftime score. Okay. I mean, hey, we're on 12-minute quarters, so that is that's explaining all the, the scoring. So now right. we're, we're back to our custom sliders, our usual sliders. I figured I would play the second half on the usual sliders and see if we can make a little bit of a comeback and trying to drive inside a little bit, get McLemore going inside. Bogdanovich for three, and we make a shot. Awesome. Hey, you cut it to 11. Yeah, we're 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 doing better. I should have played on, on our usual sliders entire game. I would have been in such a gigantic hole. But the Raptors are, oh, we got a miss. Leiden going to Zaire Smith. Hit that, man. Bam, wide got open. It. Nice, okay. So we have made this a game, but now Toronto is starting to pull away again and DeRozan's going to make that. So they're up double digits. It's only seven points now that Valsiunas makes that. And it's seven point game. Oh, he's wide open inside. Where is our interior defense this well, season? And that's the thing that I've been trying to ask in these early going games. I haven't seen a whole lot of defensive presence that you guys used to have. What's no, like we're, we're not the same team chemistry wise. We need to figure out what is going wrong. And Toronto just kicked our butts here. Not that good of a performance by the Jacks, especially when we were in a huge hole off the off the bat like that. Yeah, they really did kick your Jacks. Yeah. Ba -da -ba. We got jacked. Let's go. Let's go to the next game here against the Indiana Pacers, the four and one Pacers against the two and three Nashville Tempo. We're headed to Bridgestone Arena. Ooh. Nashville is Nashville uh, Predators are apparently not playing today. No. So this is a good team. The Pacers right now. They did. They kept Paul George. So he's playing pretty well, obviously. And then you got all the young guns out there. I want to see how you guys are going to mesh for the rest of this month. See if you make any progress. Yep, starting lineup here is Patty Mills. We also have Jaron Jackson out there. We have Vucevic, RJ Barrett, and Leftos Patsigliu. Ooh, that was good. I like it, right? All right, so Patty Mills still getting the start here in the early going of the season. We're still trying to just get Ja Morant the Sea legs. Yeah. You used that term get a little it. little while ago off screen. Get him some experience. Yeah, because the NBA game is, is a whole lot different than at Murray State. Okay, like I know John Moran is a pretty darn good player, but he's got to earn the job. He's got to earn the job, at least for me. And, and we're still series, in November, first couple weeks. Yeah, and we're not really expecting too much. We want to make the playoffs. We have a capable team to do so, but we're not expecting a whole lot. So we want to be able to see what he's going to be able to to accomplish on the bench in limited time and, and see how, how he does. But he is on the floor now here in a 24 to 11 game. And Terrence Ross taking the ball out here, 26 to 15 and Leftos gonna hit that three ball with the green to make it 26 to 18. So we pull it back within eight and you guys could see uh, early in the early going, you know, Leftos not a very good defensive player either. So that's kind of a problem. He has where Vichavich comes in with that mentorship. Exactly. So we saw Kyle Korver hitting a three ball. It's gonna be 26 to 23. We do bring <clears> it back a little bit and look at Ross with the little, the little juke right there. I like that. So 26, 25. We're bringing it back and then a three ball is gonna be hit. So now jumping it a little bit further in the second quarter, 53 to 38. Here's a pass down low to Jang. It's gonna get in 55 to 42 and. Alexander Walker. Yes, gonna make another that rookie. In. 55 to 44, and here's another three ball. All George. George gonna hit it. So here's Morant. Yeah, trying ooh, to make that ooh. shot on a fadeaway. I thought he had it for a little bit. Yeah, but you see, he's active on defense, trying to get in his face right now. Guarding Oladipo, so this is gonna be a tough assignment here. Yeah, Oladipo's got a little bit more size than it looks like John Morant does. 59 to 44 here. Down 15, and RJ Barrett gonna come through with that three. And going into the half, it's yet again kind of another drubbing here at the half, 63 to 49. Yeah, five blocks, that's pretty good. Jaron Jackson on his way to a double-double with eight and eight so far. Patty Mills trying from three range, gonna make that. 
trying to get the tempo back in this game. But the Pacers are they just keep just hot from three range. Yeah, there's not much you can do about it, guys. I mean, we can we can keep playing good defense and you know drive into the lane with Kyle Korver, a guy who doesn't really do all that, and then John Morant doing his best to try to oh. put the team on his back with a little flip, with a little teardrop. And then he's going to Thornwell. Yeah, and Thornwell's going to make that. I mean, so good passing from Morant. Yep, and then Morant's going to find Thornwell again down low and we're still down 16 and we just can't seem to stop the Pacers from hitting all these mid-range jump shots I haven't seen a whole lot of inside you know post type of moves from Indiana it's everything is mid-range and they're just drilling us right in the face right now guys it's 119 to 94 we just can't seem to get anything done here Vishevich gonna get down low Get that two-pointer, yeah. 119 to 96. Last chance for a comeback. Jackson rebound puts it in, so you're still alive, but probably not. I'm going to say no, because yeah. Oladipo is going to put the dagger in, and yeah. that's going to do it. Bad defense on the mid-range J tonight, and the Pacers are going to take this W, winning by 19. 19 points. Yeah, and that was, that was a tough Tough draw for Nashville playing a team like Indiana. I think Indiana is probably going to go pretty far this year. We'll see how they finish. Now, a couple games ahead here. Jimmer again killed it against the Pistons. That's Nine surprising. of ten from the free throw. So he's actually driving it. And then, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this down here? I see Isaiah Whitehead. One for 22. 22 shots. Okay, that Dude. can't happen. That can't happen. Capella plays pretty well against the Nuggets. We did beat Denver. Double-double for Capella. Bigdanovich does all right. Bamba played a lot of minutes, too. So now you lost to the Spurs here. Yeah, but R.J. Barrett played really well. 10 of 21, over almost 50% of his shots went in. Podzigliu, 20 points, went 7 of 16. That's yeah. okay. It's okay. Another loss, though, against the Celtics. Ja played pretty well, yeah. but he checked in. Three assists. Yep, uh, did not have as many minutes as Patty Mills, but I think now it's starting to get kind of that time that we need to get Ja in the starting lineup because we're starting to lose some games now, and yeah, I, I think agree. it's I think it's a good time to it's a, it's a good time as ever to finally get that youth movement moving. You're right. Now we are going to take on the Nets. I'm 0-2 against the CPU. Maybe I can fix that here against Brooklyn. I hope. DeAndre Jordan was staring Mo Bamba down. Yeah, this will be a good matchup at the center position. But Bamba's going to lose the tip. It's former Nashville Tempo power forward Amir Johnson out there on the court. How's he still playing? I don't know. How's he starting? That's what I want to know. That's but the next question. Easy dunk allowed. But Jimmer nails it from three range. Here's D'Angelo Russell. Cutting inside. Going to put it up and in. He's so good. Yeah. He's such a good player. He's so underrated. Everybody thinks of him from his... LA days and doesn't give him any credit. Yeah, he's pretty good now, obviously. Bamba draws a foul on DeAndre Jordan inside. We're up six to four here. Alan Crabb with the easy three pointer. Now we have Delavadova in, checking in, trying to get him some minutes. I like him distributing the ball. You know, Jimmer, not so much on that front. Yeah, he's not much of a scorer. He's more of that distributor type. All right, so 12 to 10 here. And, ooh, look at that move. I like that move. Patrick Patterson going to lay it in. 12-12 game here, and two-pointer missed. Korkmaz, what are you doing? You got to uh, get that shot in. Yeah, I don't know. There's Russell wide open in the corner. 14-12 now. Now they're up by 10, so we got to figure something out. Jonte Porter. Nice. Cuts it inside. Slams it home. We got Whitehead out there trying to rebound from that game, even though we're a few games removed from that. Horrendous. Oh, okay, okay. Make this shot, please. Wow. Thank you. We're starting to time his shot now, finally. Here's Zaire Smith going outside to Reddish. Makes that. So we're getting on a bit of a run here, trying to make this game a lot closer. There's Zaire Smith. 46-45. Now can we take the lead? Oh, tough shot. Mm. Got it. Now Brooklyn trying to put a bucket in here. I mean, they're, they're going ice cold from the field. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, great Damn. pass. Good shot, man. Good job, Reddish. Now Dinwiddie, Spencer Dinwiddie inside. Can't make it. Reddish taking it down the court. So we can oh. even add on to this here. Fredette inside. Ball's on the ground. Capella. Looking like a fool with the ball on the ground. Exactly. So we end that half 
on a really, really strong run. And I think we are actually in control of this game. Let's see if we can pull it off because I suck right now. I got to figure out what's going on here. You guys are hitting 46% from the field. Brooklyn not shooting very, very well at 40%. You know, you guys, uh, you are in control of the game, but only by six points. So yeah. bad shot selection by Jimmer right you're, out of the gate. You're going to have to watch that. Bad shot selections. Don't let this team come back in it. No bad, interior presence down bad low. defense by Jimmer. Radish from way outside, gonna hit that one, but now we're down to three-point game inside to Hollis Jefferson. I was thinking about signing Hollis Jefferson, but I didn't do it. Couldn't get him. Now Brooklyn down by two. Bomba barely gonna put that one in. So we're now up by six, but <sighs> Brooklyn is getting, they're getting a lot of easy looks inside. Yep. Going outside, Zaire Smith wide open. So it seems kind of funny right now because the, both of our teams kind of just flipped we never had any inside presence you guys did last year and yeah. now this year it's totally flipped now our defense sucks 80 to 78 go oh, oh no Levert's wide open out what there. is happening brooklyn takes the lead della vadova inside flips to Leiden, makes oh. it so now we're back on top but a wide open three to look there take the lead yeah mcdonovich what are you doing he's gonna miss on the fadeaway right here's d'angelo russell going up against Isaiah Whitehead gonna pass it out to Alan Crabb. Gonna make it again. So 90, 94 to 89 in eight minutes. So it's not like you guys are out of it. You guys can come back. Yeah, tough look for for Dad. Actually gonna make it. Now he's trying to work inside. How in the world did he do and that? He makes it. No, I know. I know for Dad. <laughs> he's getting pumped up. He's getting pumped up. Ball handling's not the greatest in the world, but he executes that. And now we're going to be down five for debt, though. Chucking up a three, it's, I mean, I got to work a little bit better on offense, find a better look. At yes. this point, I was like, just just make it, Jimmer. For debt, got beat it. right there against D'Angelo Russell. They found him inside. And there's Smith. Zaire Smith going to make a three, so it's going to be 102 to 97. And Russell got the open lane, and uh, everybody's jumping around. Yeah. And it's going to be 104 to 97. And, oh, a steal. Jimmer with the steal. Flip it back. Do something. Okay. That play did not. Oh, he's going to force the shot. Oh, man, how do we not turn that into two points? No, we got a miss there. Amir Johnson with the rebound goes back to Russell. There miss. There is nobody inside right now. Well, this, yeah, Capello and Bamba were just gassed. Like, we were, we were doing the sim cast for a little bit, and then they never took him out of the game, and now they're gassed in the fourth quarter, and I can't have him out there. Well, so big we guys... got Leiden and Porter in there. Big guys like DeAndre Jordan will wear you down. I mean, yeah. you got to think, those guys were going up against him, and you know now that you don't really have that inside presence in a crucial spot in the game, yeah, yeah, that's what led Brooklyn to take the lead here. But now Bamba does check back in, and it's a seven-point game, so it's gotta, you got to tighten up on D right here to get this dub. Yeah, and we're starting to lose it here. Down by eight, and Russell's going to hit that, and he's not even phased. Hollis Jefferson, easy lane inside. I mean, I had Patterson Bama, and they're not, not getting it done. Like, I guess we just need Capella, but CPU didn't manage his minutes very well. So, not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> 121 to 117, you guys are coming back, but 32 seconds, you got to foul, and you got to foul the... Ball handle, it just happens to be D'Angelo Russell, their yeah, best. Yeah, like, he's not going to miss those. No, no. Six-point game now. Got to do something here. I got Whitehead in. I don't trust Jimmer right now in this situation. Whitehead's a good three-point shooter himself. Bogdanovich goes inside, can't make it. Gets the foul, and the game's over. 130 to 122, Las Vegas loses again. And now we are in trouble because I'm 0-3 in my user games. Because yeah. I suck right now. Well, I, I don't, don't know what's wrong. I'm not sure either. I don't know if it is, in fact, the chemistry. Maybe it's something about the game plan that you guys are operating with. Maybe I don't know what's changed. Not much has changed with this maybe team. We're, maybe we're still tanking, and I don't want to you know, admit it. Yeah, that's what it is. That's got to be it. Speaking of tanking, the 76ers are practicing that theory again it seems like i don't know why they're so six. bad in this game i have no idea they shouldn't be you I got mean, faults porter juniors in there sarich and mb they do they don't have tobias harris or jimmy butler so that might have something to do with it or ben where's uh, simmons simmons yeah i wonder if he's hurt right now or something but he, he might be because he's uh, not in this game he needs to be playing but 
Nashville's also two and six. And like I said, we, I think we get John Morant some more minutes in this game. I'm not sure. I think we might have to, to adjust his minutes after this game to, to get that, to get that youth movement really, really going here. We need a W. We need a W at home. And Leftos is going to have to play a lot better because we need his shooting. Right there. Yeah, I mean, you're two and six. CPUs is not playing very well in your absence. So they've dropped some games. They're on a bit of a losing streak right now. And like you said, you have you have your aim on the playoffs. You're looking to be anywhere between a six and an eight seed is kind of where you want to be at this point in your franchise's yeah. development. Yeah, I want to be, but if it doesn't happen, it's not a big deal because, you know, those are lofty expectations from where we were last season. So let's get right into the gameplay here, guys. We got Jaron Jackson working that down low and look at, gonna find Leftos. So the assist goes to Jackson. Leftos gets another three ball and oh my goodness. Embiid. Vucevic against Embiid and he lets him go and he makes the three. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, tough call to guard him all the way out there. I, I mean, I guess you can do that, but you know, Sam Cassell, calling time out early, not very happy. Patty Mills with the turnover there. He tried to bounce pass it and it just bounced right into the uh, defender's arms there. But luckily, we do get a steal from Jaron Jackson down low. Covington, yeah. 24 18. Got Thornwell and Patty Mills out there and Jang. So you got the old. The crew old, from the last old, year's out yes there. the old crew right there and jang is gonna work some fakes right there and get it in and we end up tying the game and morant gets the steal but vichevich picks it up gives it off to morant back to vichevich so both of them team up to get the two ball in it's gonna be 30 to 30 and oh look at that move by john morant but there's vichevich gonna clean it up and th these two guys are uh working well together yeah they're getting some chemistry going Barrett going to drill that one from three range. And Morant with a steal. There we go. That's why we're working on him with defense, guys. Giving it to Jackson. Jackson's going to get the and one, 37 to 30. He's pumped up. All right, six-point game. Morant goes inside, almost stolen away. Jackson picks it up. So the good news with Morant is that there's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening when he's on the court. Yeah. It's he's kind of high intensity. Yeah, which is what we want. We want to be able to have that in our game plan. Ooh. Oh, there's a Montrez Harrell. He's trying to stuff it down your face right now. I understand. Doesn't but... like getting traded. Yeah, well, we traded him for John Morant. We think it's okay. So right. here's the pick and roll. And nice, nice shooting there by Leftos. And then we get a green from Patty. He's going to get a three ball right there. So 53 to 46, mm. 48. 48. Yeah, that was Markel Fultz. Driving inside, and they're going to review this. I've never seen this yet. This is new to me. I've not seen the the replay. Oh, yeah, he got that off. Yeah, he did. They're going to give it to him. But Sam Cassell is, I think he's going to be pretty mad here. Yeah, look at him. It's like, what is that? And then, oh. Oh, I'm cool. The, the switch went off. He went back to normal. <laughs> pretty interesting. <laughs> Gotta love emotions, fellas. Now, tempo lead here, 53-48. Heading into the third quarter. Kind of an off-balance three. And you're going to drain that one. Nashville fans on their feet here. Trying to get a dub. Up Here's six, and then we're going to give it off to... Alexander Walker. Yes, this guy has been great on the mid-range, Jay. And then there's uh, RJ Barrett getting another two-ball two right there. 62 to 54. Barrett, oh, he's after got a steal. Take it. Boom, get that oh. slam dunk. We're up 10, guys. We're up 10. And he's yeah, taking this one down the court. He had a lane. He had his eyes on the, on the prize. Whole way. And now you're up 20. So the we're just, blowout is in progress. Yeah, we're absolutely killing him. Morant, nice job there to get a hand in the face, even though he did a little fade away. And then uh, three balls not going to go down for Philly. And then Morant's actually going to go inside on his man. And that's, you know, he's short. He's a short dude. The guy he went up against. Yeah, Van Vliet. Yeah, yeah, Van Vliet. So that's a good he's, matchup. He's tall for a normal person. Yeah, it's a good matchup, though. And then we get Alexander Walker again for a three. So this guy has been killing it on the mid-range. And then we're going to go to Jaron Jackson. And he's going to get a green. So all this mentorship has been working. Mentorship has been working because all the guys that you would think that aren't supposed to be doing what they're doing are doing I like it. John Moran getting down low. Jaron Jackson hitting threes. Yeah, good win for Nashville. Yes. 
They are back on track. We're three and six. Yeah. You know, the Jacks, I don't know what the deal is. I mean, the CPU is better as Las Vegas than I am, so maybe I'll just take the rest of the series off and, and oh, uh, no. you can handle it. No, no. Jacks can sim out the season and get a eight, seven or an eight seed in the West. I know what this is. This is a ploy to stop you editing. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Post in the comments if you want the Jacks to secede from the series. Yeah, I'm done. I quit. Actually, I'm not because our next episode will be Las Vegas versus Nashville. Oh, well, then we know what's so, going to happen. Then you're going to quit. We're going to have a double header of Tempo versus Jacks. Another early season showdown between these two expansion franchises. So don't miss it next week. If you want to see me lose to gold, tune in next week. Find out what happens oh boy find out how i lose that's the interesting yeah that's the most interesting part about this whole thing suck. how is it gonna be a loss i can't run plays i can't shoot my interior defense is done i got nothing okay all right well normally when i ask you if you have anything else you always say you got nothing anyway yeah. so that was actually a pretty good round of applause for little broski right there okay for the long diatribe Guys, leave a like if you like this thing. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red button for subscribe or the logo in the bottom right hand corner. And don't forget to hit the dang bell because I do post a lot of things in the community tab. Don't know if you guys get those notifications or not if you don't have the bell rung. And of course you don't wanna miss any of your NBA 2K series here between the Jackson Tempo. So make sure you hit that button to get those notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday. Peace.